If you're working in trade life cycle or in hedge fund accounting, you often come across trade slips from the counterparty and the designation of the counterparty is that of a market maker. Hello everyone and welcome to this YouTube video on understanding the role of the market maker in the trade life cycle process. If you're working in the New York Stock Exchange markets or the European markets, and now increasingly in the Indian markets as well, you will often find the use of the term market maker, which is a part of the market ecosystem in equities, commodities, bonds, and even forex trading nowadays. So what is a market maker? A market maker is typically a very large financial institution or a bank that does market making. The market maker is a entity which is a very large bank or a financial institution that gives two-way quotations on a few selected scripts. What do I mean by a two-way quotation? A two-way quotation means that the market maker is willing to buy or sell the underlying asset for which they're giving a quotation. This two-way quotation in some markets is called as a bid-ask quote. In other markets, it's called as a buy-sell or the buy-ask, etc. Whatever it is, it is not an order. So unlike a stock exchange where there's a broker and the broker accepts orders, right? Buy orders, sell orders, etc. The market maker only gives prices. They only give quotations. This quotation represents the price at which the market maker is willing to buy the asset or the price at which the market maker is willing to sell the asset. So as a market maker, he's also a price maker, okay? So when the market maker is giving a quotation, they are willing to buy at the bid price and they are willing to sell at the ask price. As always, the ask price will be a few pips higher than the bid price, thus giving the spread, the bid ask spread to the market maker because he is the price maker. The entity that accepts the price or the quotation from the market maker is called as a price taker, okay? So when the market maker is willing to give a two-way quotation for a few securities, a few bonds, some foreign exchange trades, some commodity trades, what does it mean? It means that the market maker is willing to trade on any of the assets. This is a very important role of the market maker that is creating liquidity in the market. Because the market maker is continuously giving, flooding the market with these two big quotes, interest spikes in some securities, interest increases in some securities. There could be some securities, like some bonds, which, for example, very long term bonds, which are fairly illiquid in trading today. The market maker, by giving two way quotations, creates an interest, creates liquidity in the market. This very important role of the market maker ensures that there's a continuous flow of trades, continuous flow of volumes, a very high level of liquidity in the markets so that counterparties who are sitting on you know, high value positions are able to liquidate, if not to a counterparty, the counterparty being the market maker itself. So the market maker thus creates a market in the underlying assets. Think of the market maker as a wholesaler. When we go to a wholesale market to buy clothes or dry fruits or whatever, what do we do? We buy in bulk, correct? Because the market, the wholesaler will sell to us only in bulk. We can't go to the wholesaler and tell them, give me 100 grams of almonds or give me one meter of cloth, right? We need to be able to buy in bulk, literally like 100 meters of cloth or maybe 100 kilos of almonds. Only then the market maker is willing to give you a quotation. This is the similar analogy for the market maker. The market maker is dealing only in large volumes. We cannot go with uh, to a market maker and say, come on, give me a quotation for 100 uh, Amazon stock or 100 Apple stock. No, they would just refuse to even quote a price. They will just say, ah, the, the market maker might just go off to sleep or something like that. But in reality, the market maker, if, if there's a $5 million order or there is a $100 million kind of an order, especially from those who want to do a acquisition or a takeover, then in that case, the market maker is in a position to give such kind of quotations. So the role of the market maker is in the wholesale market, like, you know, and 
uh, in, the, in the wholesale leg of the segment. They are not like brokers who accept buy orders and sell orders. They are continuously flooding the markets with two-way two uh, quotations on specific assets, okay, specifically in foreign exchange or in bonds or in equities. Market maker services are very useful if the trader in an investment bank or a hedge fund is looking to quickly exit a position, okay. When they're quickly looking to exit or enter into a position, they know that if they go to a market maker, they're able to place a high value order, an order for let's say a 100,000 Amazon stock or a 50,000 Google stock or something like that, okay? So they are able to place high value orders, high volume orders with the market maker. Now when the market maker sees such a high value order, what will he do? they will narrow the bid ask spread okay when they narrow the spread between the bid price and the mark ask price they are evincing interest at doing the trade and thus the market maker offloads or and or uploads some of the positions that they might be having in the specific stock the role of the market maker can never be undermined because without the market maker without the wholesaler without the distributor the market would literally run at one tenth the volumes that it is currently running at because the market maker through the continuous you know continuous flooding of the quotations in the market evincing interest to either buy or to sell okay they never reveal their side they never tell whether they're going to buy or they're never going to tell whether they're going to sell by giving a two-way quotation they are willing to do either and if they like the price they uh, counterpart if they like the price the counterparty takes them on so the market maker does by being a wholesaler by trading in large volumes by giving narrow bid ask spreads continuously is in a position to give these kind of rates this liquidity creation of specific stocks in stock markets like nasdaq new york stock exchange in the foreign exchange markets is very useful and contributes to the volumes in the market by contributing to volumes in the market, the traders are able to play in the high volume, high leverage game, which in effect trickles down to better pricing, some people say, to the retail investor. So this is what is the market maker. Is the market maker a broker? Yes, the market maker will have to have a brokerage card from the stock exchange in which they are operating. But is the market maker a prime broker? No. Is the market maker an executing broker? No. They are separate entities who buy, see a broker actually gives buy order, sell order. So they know which side they're operating on, right? Whereas a prime broker, a market maker is one who does not give buy order, sell orders. They do not accept these orders. They give continuously only quotations, bid ask quotations. To, they might give different bid ask quotations for the same asset at the same point of time to different counterparties, thereby creating even more liquidity in the market. Very useful, especially in money markets. For by doing this way, by doing this kind of fine pricing to different counterparties, the market maker creates a hell lot of liquidity in the markets. This is very very useful for traders who are sitting on illiquid assets. If there's a buyback that's happening, if there is a open market offer that's taking place where the company is buying back its stocks from the market right they need not go directly to the market they can go through a market maker the market maker helps the company in you know buying up a minimum amount of stock that they might need either for a buyback or for a acquisition thank you so much for listening in i'm a learning partner sushila hari